Hey guys here, this is Chris Archer for the Donnie Darko Show, and this morning it's, I have a little bit of time here, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a ride up to the Walmart on Frankel uh, Way, which is right off of York Road, which is Route 45 in, in Baltimore County. Alright, this is the, the Northern Distribution Center for FEMA, alright, to distri derby, distribute people and hold them until they go to a FEMA camp. The FEMA camps that they'll be going to will be the ones in Pennsylvania. Now, there also are some in Edgewater Arsenal, near the water in Havre Grace near the Patapsco River. Or, I'm sorry, not Patapsco River, but the other river up there. But yeah, Patapsco River, I was right. All right, so this is 17.4 miles north of Baltimore. Okay, so when you're heading north, this is a distribution center you're going to be going to when they shut that city down and everything's fucked up. I'm going to take you to that place. I've already busted them. Busted them. I've already busted them more than, well, enough. I've already busted the fact that they built extend, extended tunnels from Walmart to the tunnel system next to I-83, which runs right next to it. Interstate 83 runs all the way up this middle of Baltimore, and it runs all the way up to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and that tunnel system that the government keeps is actually part of that. And it runs right underneath of the I-83 corridor, which goes right up again through Baltimore and into Baltimore County. All right, so let's see if we can find, we don't want to put people's tags number on here, so what we're going to do is just, uh, again, what I'm going to do is take you into the system, we're going to walk around, we're going to see some stuff, and then we're going to show you some maps and stuff but behind it, and then we're going to visit behind it, and I'm going to, I'm going to actually take you to the, to the um, tunnels that are up there. And I know the tunnels are there because we, first of all, I've seen them on the system. I pulled up the Department of Defense and on the government tunnel system, they're actually listed underneath 83 all the way up. Now, they're not exactly under 83, but they're running parallel to Route 45, which I'm on right now. 45 North, heading out of Baltimore to Cockneysville. All right. So this road right here goes straight through Baltimore all the way into Baltimore City called York Road. And it also turns into another road called Greenmount Avenue in Baltimore. That'll take you straight down. But we're heading outside the city. I live outside Baltimore, just outside. And we're heading up to the Walmart Supercenter. Going to show you the tunnel system that lies between this street and I-83, which is about a quarter mile to the left here. All right? So they've run parallel with it right here between the street. And it's always, ran, it's always been here. But they've tied in new pieces to it. And I'll take you up to that spot. That they took, that they tied in the new pieces here. All right. And they, what they did was Walmart used to be in Hunt Valley, Maryland, where the Grand Mason Lodge is. Okay. So that is one thing. But they moved Hunt Valley Supercenter down to this area here, this location, because what they did was they wanted to build this redistribution center here, and they relocated it and rebuilt this whole area between I-83 and York Road, and I'm going to show you how they started it, and we'll get back to you just in a second when I get past these lights, and we'll pull you back up. All right, guys, we're back over here now. Um, this is the street in question that they built and re-extended all the way up. Okay, it's called Beaver Dam Road. All right, and this is the street right here. Macaroni Grill is out. Um, all right, this whole area right here was rebuilt just about 10 years ago. All right, the whole area here, everything, it's all brand new and all this stuff. It, it wasn't extended up here. You couldn't extend the street, but they extended it. But on this street where this starts, this whole area right here is being shut down. I'm going to show it to you. They're getting ready for this whole, they're going to shut this whole area down above Padonia Road between Shawan and Padonia. And uh, you see, sorry, this location is closed. They, they've been here, they were here when it started. Macaroni Grill. So they're gone. This is just a precursor of what's going on. All right, this is just what's going on, guys. The stores are closed. All right, they don't even have a location. They didn't even put anything up. They just closed the damn stores, and that was it. All right, so we're on the route that we're heading up the tunnel system on between 83 and York Road. So you see already, a business already has gone out of business. Macaroni Grill didn't even tell anybody. Just said, just said that's it. That's a flag. 
I don't care if they told their employees or not. You don't even tell the public that you're leaving. You just shut your floors down. That's a little bit... That's sketchy. That's sketchy, 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 guys. That's all that is. All right, so what we're going to do is put the camera here. All right, and we're going to drive up this new road, Beaver Dam Road, that was built 10 years ago. All right, this whole area was built all the way through. All right, there used to be a road here, but it was completely redone at this point right here. All right, so what we have, as you can see, we have a Lowe's and a Sam's Club to your right, right behind this closed store right here at Macaroni Grill. All right, there's a 7-Eleven. You have a light rail system right next to it, and there's your Lowe's and your Sam's Club. All right. Now, this is part of the, this. All this stuff was built right next to this tunnel system because they needed this. This was part of your FEMA camp, and they knew it 10 years ago when they built this shit. All right, so this whole street right here was rebuilt right on this railroad track, see it? All the way between 83 and York Road. 83 is to your left, I-83, Interstate 83. And you know what else we always see next to these Walmarts or these? And I think these have a lot to do with it. You see these places right here that make rocks and cement and concrete and all that shit? This place right here has a tunnel system location under it too. There are always quarries here, okay, next to it. Here's the new road. They just put a new sign up here. They just did new work here. And here's the new road that comes through that never did 10 years ago, Industry Lane, that shoots up here to Home, Lowe's, and AAI Corporation. As you see, the railroad tracks were caught. We're passing those. All right. On your left right here next to Home Depot, and there's Home Depot. You see them all in a row, right? Lowe's, Sam's Club, Home Depot. You see AAI Corporation right here. They changed their name. The Text Tech. Well, actually, that's not AI, but that's Text Tech Systems. They're part of it too. They're also all of them are. They're all gated and everything. You can't even get in there because there's tunnels underneath. And there's AAI Corporation right there, which is unmanned aerial vehicles that that are made for the for the government. That's on the corner here. All right. 10150 York Road, right there on the corner. We're back on York Road. Remember, we're just going between roads. So we're back on York Road again. This is the main road up here, Route 45. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you in the Walmart, and we're gonna go from there. I'll take you in the Walmart. You already saw all the stores that lead up to Walmart here on that corridor was rebuilt with the tunnel system next to 83. So I'll get right back to you in a second. All right, guys, this is the company next to Walmart. Yeah, we're gonna pull in. See if we can't get up there. Oh, we can't get up there. I already realized that they got the gate off today. Man, they're all up there today, boy. You ain't getting in that place, I can tell you right now. We're gonna have to climb the hill again. I don't feel like doing that. Here's Walmart. Okay. Now it's on York Road between Beaver Dam Road, which has got the tunnel system underneath it in I-83. That's where it is right there. You see it right there. We're gonna really go in here in a second, so let me get back to you. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, we're in the entrance here, in Walmart entrance. We're next to the AAI Corporation here. All right, here's Walmart, as you see. We're going up here to this place. Who knows if this place might be the actual detention center. Let's have a warehouse right here. Look, you see it? There's a warehouse with fucking un all kinds of air unmanned aerial vehicles inside of it. And you can even see generators right here. Check this shit out. Sam, these are generators. So they're expecting something. I've never seen the generators here before. Ever. You see them? Look at that shit. They're fucking generators, guys. And they're there in the front. They have never been there before. They just delivered them. Oh, baby. How you still? Alright, so there's a giant. Looks like a FEMA camp already, doesn't it? The base. Look at this shit. They don't hide it up here in Baltimore. Nobody gives a fuck. That's why. Up here in Baltimore, they're so fucking stupid, they don't even give a fuck. You see the cop? I'm in a fucking all the damn military up here. Turn around, because they already detected that I'm up here. See, it says right there, telephone. There's a detector right there. You see the wires. I've already detected them. I'm getting out of here. I'm just turning around. All right, so that's AAI Corporation next to Walmart. And there's generators. Hello. And that damn thing goes for a big distance, this little fucking... It looks like a jail already. Look at this thing. You see it up there? It doesn't look like a FEMA camp already. I think this might even be a homemade FEMA camp. 
I mean, it's not out of the question that this warehouse right here could be a FEMA camp. I, I don't know. I'm sure they could turn it into one if they wanted to. Just like they do to Walmart. I don't know if this Walmart's going to become a FEMA camp, but I can guarantee it's a distribution center will be shut down. All right, so this is one Frankel Way, okay, F-R-N-K-E-L, in Cockeysville, Maryland, 17 miles north of Baltimore. All right, we're going to head behind it. Actually, let's take a ride behind Walmart also while we're in here. Let's see if we can't rattle up some fucking security guards because I can guarantee they're up here too. And if you, and let me just tell you something, guys. On this earth, if you can drive into a place that even if it says do not enter in it, all right, and it says private property, if somebody opens the gate and you, can, and you drive in, that's legal because they opened the gate. The gate was open. The sign doesn't say don't come in if the gate's open. It just says private property, do not enter. But that doesn't matter. When someone opens the gate, you're not entering privately. You're entering on permission. So if you see a gate open in one of these places, just drive up in that bitch. And then tell them later, like I do at NSA, tell them you like lost. <laughs> That's all I do. All right, so we're coming up in here. Here's the pen, the outside pen up here. Take a look at this. And this is kind of new too up here. I don't know what the hell this is. I've never seen this. Yeah, these cages are new right outside. I've never seen these cages before. Check them out. Wow. A lot of this shit's... I've never even seen this before. I've never even been behind here in probably a month. It might be years. I haven't been back here. Now, here's the corporation I keep talking about. Across the street, you see it? That giant thing right there? That's gigantic uh, Genstar or Bluegrass, which does the rocks and all that shit. So we're behind Walmart, and you see the cages over there. That outside cage is new. Check it out. Let's go look at it again real quick. You can see it's new. I mean, just take a look at it. Look at the old st structure, and look at the new structure. All right. This is a new structure. Check it out. These are new structures here. These are new outside structures. This used to stop right here. See this right here, these walls? All right, so let's take another ride around. It says security cameras in use, which I don't give a fuck. What are they gonna do? Tell me I can't shop at Walmart anymore and drive around the property? You guys act like these security guards are gonna do something to you when you drive up to Walmart. If the fucking Walmart is open and it's not locked off and locked, then there's nothing they can do about driving through it. You can tell them anything you wanna tell them. There's no, nothing illegal about driving up through Walmart. All these people you see that have problems with people driving up on Walmart, the reason why you see that they're having problems is because they're paid as trolls and they're just throwing this info out. And underneath here, you can see where the tunnel system goes. You can see that's a tunnel system if, you, if, you, if you're not looking at it. But behind Walmart, check it out. All right, we're behind the Walmart right here with the cameras up there on the fucking roof everywhere. There's a camera everywhere. There's like fucking 60 cameras in one Walmart on the outside of the building only. So there's AI Corporation. See it? All right, here's the tunnel system right here next to the railroad. And I'm going to show you events that go across the tunnel system, and, and, you, and you see it? There's your railroad right here. This is a light rail system, but can be used for anything, all right? So don't think it can't. There's your tunnel systems right there. If you walk through here, if you climb through that thing right there, you can get into the tunnel systems right there, all right? That's going into AI. I, I can't go on that property. I would never go on that property, because then they'll get me for federal bullshit, because that's a federal property. You see AI corporations right here on this hill, and this is all their fucking tunnels. They go under Walmart. Look at them. This has been here for years. They just extended them out. That's all they did to the to the new road on the other side of this of this light rail system right here, which is runs right next to Walmart. Look, see the we're in the back of Walmart right now. All right, so I'm gonna go back over this right here. We're gonna go over this. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look. Why Walmart has such a high roof anyway with walls on it? That doesn't make any fucking sense, does it? You see how the roof 